Yo, 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 big ears to the block right now. I'm a day ago, do that FIFA 23, the trailer. I'll find the news. Finding the trailer, and basically, um, the new features is going to be on PS5, on the PS5, not on PS4. I don't even know yet. I don't know yet, but I mean, not. I can't. Yeah, not on PS4. Because, um, some of that, the new features, and. Can't like basically that new, not the like basic stuff. Even some of that, I new features on me on the new features on me on PS5, not on PS4 because um, PS3 will be so good. <laughs> that is gonna be so good, guys. And we see my other ones. We both want to buy FIFA. We'll get some of them yet and see all of them. I can't wait to play this game as well. I really can't wait for this game. I'm sorry, guys, and people forward. Sorry. But we want, we actually want to do this real quick. Get PS5, guys, this year, guys. Get PS5 this year. I know it's hard, but get actually PS5 this year. So it's called the new fix on this. On the PS5, I can't wait to wait. I don't feel this month, this month or next month. I can't wait to wait. Because, <laughs> Welcome to our break down of everything new and exciting in career mode for FIFA 23. With us to get into the finer details is Sheldon and our FIFA 23 producers. Let's get started. Thanks, Derek. So today we're talking about everything new with career mode in FIFA 23. And here to talk about it are Alex and Yonel from the development team. Hey, guys. Hey, Sheldon. Hey, Sheldon. Happy to be here. Excited to have you joining us because... Because there's so many new things to cover from playable highlights to authentic managers. We even have a new menu. We'll get to that in just a second. But first, Alex, let's chat about the new player career personality. Player personality is one of the major features in player career this year. It's a fluid system that drives a personal connection to your player, and it lets you define your character both on and off the pitch. For example, deciding whether or not you should pass define your character both on and off the pitch for example deciding whether or not you should pass the ball to a teammate or making a shot attempt on your own that contributes towards developing your personality in a certain direction and we have three different personality types each type of decision contributing to those so we have mavericks they're opportunists on the pitch aggressively chasing goals and individual glory and they act on intuition and they seek stardom off the pitch as well Virtuosos are skillful and intelligent. They use their technique to change matches and act spontaneously both on and off the pitch. And last but not least, heartbeats are, as the name implies it, the heartbeat of the team. They read the game once. Like, how many years will be in my team? How many years? I mean, like, 
thought it's like called it, you know, like BC matches fights, something like that. And you go up uh, prices, like what price you want to have, what wages, like BC and what wages, you think they're such as something like that, meaning like that. But like BC, I want to say like BC, like wages, like how many years ago it be, and what price, what price you want to get in that wages. It might be like, say, I want to get those for like, so I'm talking right now, so I'm talking right now, like round on four. Basically, like one nil, or something like that, or like more like say, well, 80 or 50, say like 85, 85 right now. So, yeah, I want to have like up to like 70, I'm saying about 75 nil right, right now. A budget, you know what I mean? Like, for the team, you know, the team that like, they'll help. So, what are you saying about one nil, or something like that, like, like something like, like eight. Or say like um say like um wages like these are wages something that in the people. So you can say I can use this. Yeah, they use this. They have it. They actually have it. The um price and then they give you you give them that team. That would be so definitely weak. But that would be one of the best. The FIFA update. It might be on the FIFA or in the FIFA, but we don't know yet. Says, um, hey guys, send me a please, please, guys. I want different people. You know what I'm saying? Actually, you know what I'm saying? What trying to like, basically trying to like, how many years in that team? How many to, how many weeks are coming to like, basically, like, sponsors, like, basically, like, for that clubs? It's just like one of your best teams in the like, throughout. Like, it's gonna be so good. I'll fuck up. Just wait and see, guys. Just wait and see. Step ahead of a point. Listen, this game is actually really good. I shouldn't enjoy it. I don't need mode. I'm not just saying, don't worry about it. At all. But, it actually, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've been new. It beats you. How am I doing? How am I doing? The new team, like, basically, like, so many people who play it, so many new. You know, like they say, like, you say, like, manager mode. You know, I'm going to, like, how many years trying to use that out of manager. That's your manager when you come back, you know, trying to have players, some of that. When they feel like I need players, like, I mean, I'm trying to have new players, like, new players, like, your own team. And your own players out, like, some of that, or how many wages you want to have. Opponents, they lead by example off the pitch. As I said, it's not just about what you do on the pitch, but about the activities that you engage with off the pitch as well. You can visit an injured teammate in the hospital, you can buy a sports car, lots of activities that you can do that have an impact on your personality as well. What's great about the system is that it evolves as you play the game. So you may start out as a maverick, which in turn will unlock specific attribute boosts that are associated to the maverick playstyle. So for example, attributes such as finishing could end up being boosted if you're really evolved as a maverick. Well, as, as a heartbeat, you might see other attributes being boosted if you get to a certain personality level. So there's a lot of freedom and it's an ever-evolving system, like I said. So we're excited to see what decision our players will make in the game. We hear it so often from the community. Players want to progress in their career, win those big matches throughout a season, but they just don't have time to play the full 90 minutes. Are there any other options here in FIFA 23? We really want to bridge the gap between that dedication of playing a 90-minute match and risking it all with a quick sim just to get to the end results. And to that extent, we've developed a new feature called Playable Highlights, which allows you to only play the highlights of the match, the situations which would have an outcome that influences the result directly. It's also very attributes driven, depending on the quality of the two teams facing each other. So lots of variation in there, a very exciting feature. Also, <laughs> really, I 
that kind of presents itself as a highlight reel. Yono, can you take us through the new menu this year? Absolutely, and I'm actually excited about this because our players are spending a lot of time in the menu, in career mode specifically. So there's a lot of interactions within the career mode UI. So we're happy this year to streamline all of that, implement a new interface that allows you to get to what you need really fast, spend less time navigating. Getting and spend more I'm actually actively thinking about how to best manage this time off the pitch. So it's covering a lot of key features from the game and we're excited to allow our players to interact with this new system and get immersed features from the game and we're excited to allow our players to interact with this new system and get immersed in the career mode universe. Another new feature coming to FIFA 23 are dynamic moments in career mode. So can you explain what these moments are? As you know, we've been doing a, a good job at celebrating success when it comes to winning trophies. Now we've added some new cinematic sequences, which would focus on the celebration of switching clubs or transferring players in and out of your squad to improve it. But at the same time, we have focused on other moments of player career as well. If a new star signing arrives at your club, you might see something happen with said player. Or if you're achieving a key moment uh, in your player career mode journey, you could also see... I love the cutscene. I just love the cutscene. <laughs> love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, guys. I just love this cutscene. See that highlighted as well. So there's a lot of fist bumping going around, a lot of moments where you get to be surrounded by your squad mates. And it's something that's really immersive. It's really fun. And it's something that really brings you into that career mode universe that you're creating for yourself. Speaking of transfers, it's almost like an art. You
Yeah, I can do it. No, no, no. Send me down, little guy, so you know what it just is. Because I really don't know this. Not for me. You learn as you go. How is this all going to play out in FIFA 23 as we learn along the way signing new players? So as you've mentioned, Sheldon, the transfer window is one of the most exciting times for us as football fans. So we're happy to complement that experience in career mode this year. We've built a new transfer evaluation feature that will give... Give you an analysis of all the transfers that you're doing. So after each transfer. that will give you an analysis of all the transfers that you're doing. So after each transfer, you will see this new feature. Evaluate how well you've done as a negotiator or highlight where your new signing could best fit in your squad. It would also give you hints as to how you can improve your negotiation moving forward, maybe get a better price for your players or maybe even get a better deal for players that you want to sell on further in your career mode playthrough as a manager. And not just our managers getting smarter here. Here. Can you tell us how the AI is becoming more strategic in game? So our new CPU AI system analyzes all of these parameters in a much more intelligent way. So what this means is that you will see your opponent make much more informed and better decision depending on the outcome of the different situations that you generate in game. If I'm really dominating a match and I score one, two goals, you may see your opposition make some more offensive minded substitutions to try to claw back into the game. And we're excited to see this play out in these lengthy career mode seasons. Lastly, can you take us through the all new authentic managers in FIFA 23? This feature has been a really long time coming. FIFA 23 finally brings you the ability to step in the shoes of some of the world's most famous managers. You can actually pick from the authentic likeness of any authentic manager that we have in the game and you can put them at the helm of their current club, take them on to a different club if that's at the helm of their current club, take them on to a different
when people are changed on this and that, when people turn trees on this, like, look at that. It go like a couple like months, like, I can like lots and lots of months, something like that, because um, I was showing you guys, I was showing you guys basically how we do it and basically the oldest, how they actually done the kit. Finally, have a turkey go now. Friend club. Now, home kit, away kit, and basically, mom, friend, and sister's kit, and the cookie kit. <laughs> Bro. Bro, listen, I just love it. I just love it. I just love it. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Why? I just love it, man. I just love it, guys, and I can't wait because it's going to be so good. New channel, I love this, you're beating all this, all that. This was thinking about this what happened right basically eating this digital and FIFA and this one well, thank you to the guys and just wow if that's a scenario that you want to play out or even put them at the helm of a club that you create and manage on your own as well. So you can choose your manager, you can um basically I'm thinking like um what kind of kit the sponsors gonna be so like good uh, bad, good, and brilliant, basic, excellent, so, like, that uh, basic, and um, so on, my other one, my other one, then, yeah, this one was a, this one was a, and, uh, yeah, and this a little bit, I just love this. Custom. I'm sorry, guys, on P4, 20, no, sorry, on P4, sorry. I don't know about, sorry guys, on P5. My their appearance, you can lead your club to glory in the shoes of some of the world's most known managers. There it is. We've covered it all with new updates coming to player career, manager career, and the new menu. Alex, Yonel, thanks for hanging out. Thanks a lot. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Back to you, Derek. Well, that looks pretty special. We'll be there every step. Yeah, and God of War basically go on cinema. God of War is going to be like in like three more months to go. And I can't wait. After my birthday, I play God of War 1 to the 5. <laughs> oh my days. <laughs> Guys, I can't wait. I mean, obviously, you love this. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. If you're new right here, hit the like button right now. You love it. You actually love people in the right now. So, you actually love people in the right now. I think it's out. Peace, guys. I say, and then I'm pre-ordered.